stocks, shares, stonks, equity. What on earth are shares? So imagine you have a company called Business Limited, right? And you need funds to do what it is that you need to do in order to generate money, right? So you create items called shares that you sell to investors. So if you created 100,000 shares and you sell these to investors like yourself and maybe friends and family for 10 rand a piece, that would equate to 1 million rand. So now you've generated 1 million rand. So what are shares and why should you be interested? Hey, hey, hey everyone and welcome back to my Tube of the EU channel where it's all about you to achieve your financial goals. I hope you're all doing well and let's get cracking. As mentioned earlier, right, financial assets like shares are issued in order to generate funds for businesses, right? The market determines the value of a share. So, the market being you, um, other investors, institutions, government, whatever the case may be, whoever is interested in buying shares in that specific entity could be an investor. If investors pour 1 million rand into your company and you've got 100,000 shares, right? That means your share price is 10 rand. This is calculated by taking the 1 million rand divided by the 100,000 shares, which gives you 10 rand per share. The money that was poured into your company is what is referred to as the market capitalization. This is also what investors look at to see what the value of a company is at the moment. For example, if you look at Apple, you see that they're worth nearly $3 trillion. So that is their market capitalization and that's what investors put into that. But from this perspective as well, if you buy 10% of Google, you are technically sharing in 10% of the business. So you become a shareholder. Okay, so you know what shares are, right? But then how do you buy these shares? How do investors like yourself own some of these shares? Well, these shares are often listed on exchanges. So in South Africa, it's listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange or JSE. In America, it's listed on the New York Stock Exchange, Australia, the Australian Stock Exchange, and so on and so on and so on. But then what do you do? Do you just go to the stock exchange and be like, hi, I'd like um, 10 Apple shares with the side of Pepsi and Turks. So you don't go to the stock exchange you get what you call brokerage companies, right? So, um, one that I use is equity. So, they list the shares from the JSC and from the New York Stock Exchange, etc. on their platform. Um, you get other platforms as well, like Robinhood or Plus500, many more. There are many more to choose from. Hey, David. So, why would anyone want to buy shares? You know? It's a very good question. Give me two reasons for that. Oh, really? What's the first one? Number one, you want to take advantage of the growth of the company. Right. So what exactly do I mean by growth? Right. So, another example we made earlier about pouring one million into a company with 100,000 shares. So share price is at 10 rand. So let's say the company goes through a couple of breakthroughs, right? And their profit is off the charts. So they managed to increase their profits by another 60% and they partnered with an, another well-known company. So at this stage, investors are more eager to invest in this business. So they pour a lot more money into it. So your market capitalization increases from 1 million to 100 million. So now your shares are worth 1,000 rand as opposed to 10 rand. So now let's bring this example closer to home, right? So you bought 10 shares for 10 rand each at 100 rand. Now the business shares are now worth 1,000 rand each because you've held your shares now for, let's make an example and say you've held it now for two years. I mean, two years this company has turned around and shocked the entire industry with their growth. So now shares are valued at 1,000 rand each. And you hold 10 shares. 10 multiplied by 1,000 rand. That means your new holding is 10,000 rand. So you've effectively grown your investment from 100 rand to 10,000 rand. That's a 9,900 rand gain. So that is what I mean by taking advantage of the growth of shares. Reason number two, dividends. Right? 
what are dividends? Well, I'll cover this in another video at some other stage, but basically what it means is that some companies, when they make enough profits, they want to distribute some of this as a way of saying thank you to shareholders. So, using the same example we've made in this business, let's say their profits is now 100 million rand for the year, they're going to reinvest half of that into developing the business. The other 50 more they will use and pay it out to all investors. So, so let's say that 50 more amounts to 1 rand per share they're going to pay out. If you hold 10 shares, they pay you a dividend of 10 rand. Now companies can decide either pay this monthly, quarterly, by annually, we get it. Using dividends and growth in shares is one way to really increase your wealth because not only are you getting free money but you're also growing your initial investment say the share price was 10 rand when you bought your 10 shares you spent 100 rand now you've earned 10 rand in dividends 4 times a year so that's 40 rand that's getting 40% return and now the share price has moved from 10 rand to 20 rand so you've managed to double your investment another thing to note is that if you haven't watched my first video, it was Papa Ben and Ajia where I discussed the fact that the market is very emotional and like I said, the market capitalization depends a lot on your shareholders. So if people start selling during a difficult time, like COVID-19, that's what happened at the start of COVID-19, people start selling because they're panicking and then the market capitalization goes down, which means your value that you dividing by your number of shares goes down. So your share price naturally also fall. If you're keen to get some shares in your portfolio, I've left the links down in the description um, to Easy Equities where if you sign up using my referral code you'll get about 50 rand to start your investment journey. Remember, you don't have to have a lot of money to invest. The smallest amount will get you going. Remember, by starting today, you're already ahead of the person that said I'll start tomorrow. Remember that famous saying that goes, the best time to have pondered to was 10 years ago, second best time is now. If you're interested to know what I'm invested in, please leave a comment in, down below and I'll do a video covering exactly what about what I've invested in, which companies I believe are undervalued, um, especially for 2022, which I believe will take off and I'll do. And I'll do a video on that. As always, thank you so much for your support, guys. I appreciate it. You are helping me realize my mission, and that's to install financial literacy in everyone and help them see that it's not too late to get started. I only started last year, and I've come a long way since then. And I'm hoping that by installing financial literacy, it can make a difference in your life as well, and so that you can take steps to grow your wealth. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below if there's anything that you'd like me to cover specifically that will cater more to your needs.